Want to know how I turned a computer fan into a super useful machine? Please watch the whole video with me so you can make your own machine like this. First, you need a computer fan and a bolt. Then I will bolt it to the fan blade. To secure it, I used hot glue and spread some glue on the fan blade, then place the bolt on that glue. Attaching a bolt to the fan blade will create eccentric motion for the fan. Wondering why we do this? Let's watch the video. Connect the fan to a 12 volt power source. Note, 12 volt DC computer fan, so connect the wire polarity correctly. Do you notice anything when the fan spins? Yes, the fan spins off center, so it vibrates a lot and can't stay still. With such a moving principle, I will make it into a rust removal machine. We will use a wooden board to make the base for the machine. Next, I will place the fan on the wooden base and mark the screws on it. Note, please mark carefully and accurately. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Please mark with a marker. I used some large long screws to drill into the marked locations on the wooden base. Note drill slowly for best accuracy. Next, I used an iron cutter, screw head cutter. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Next, I used a small, flexible plastic tube. Use a ruler to mark 5 centimeters. Then use scissors to cut into 4 5 centimeter long pieces. Note, cut four equal parts for best machine performance. Next, we will mount each plastic tube onto the screws on the wooden base. Next, I used four long screws. I installed each screw into the four corners of the fan. To make the machine more sturdy, I used glue on the screws.
Next, we will attach the fan to the wooden base. Install four fan screws into four plastic tubes on wooden base. Continue using four bolts and one round plastic tray. Then use hot glue to glue each bolt to the four corners of the fan. Note, you should not apply too much glue because it will make the device lose its aesthetic. Then I will attach the plastic tray to the four bolts. We continued to use hot glue to secure the plastic tray. Place the plastic tray on the bolt so that it is most balanced. I use the adapter and connect it to the fan input. Use electrical tape to wrap around the joint. Do the same with the other end of the wire. I use a 12 volt adapter to power my machine. I continue to use the adapter to connect to a Rapto. After connecting, we still have to use tape to wrap the joints. So, you and I have completed the machine, now it's time to test it. When I connected the power source to the machine, it was very strong, forcing me to use one hand to hold it. I will put some sand in the plastic tray. Next, 
I'll take the rusty nuts, bolts, and washers and put them in a plastic tray filled with sand. Stir them up with your hands. Seconds later, everything was covered in sand. It is really interesting when we have to wait for a certain result. Thirty seconds later, I saw the result. Then I cut off the power. I picked up all the screws, nuts, and bolts, and was surprised to see how shiny they were. How do you see this result? Isn't it amazing? In a very short time, we have created a wonderful and extremely useful machine. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much.